Hi, my name is Wardha Nam. I'm the CEO of Overjet. Uh, Overjet is a startup in, uh, in providing AI for dentistry. Uh, and we provide solutions such as computer vision, natural language processing solutions for the largest dental insurance companies to automate claim processing, as well as dental groups to ensure that the right quality of care is being provided in these practices. Yeah, so I basically had a personal experience. I went to, uh, I changed my dentist and get, went to a new dentist and who gave me a treatment plan which was very different than what I had received before. And that got me interested in like complexity of dental diagnosis and what was actually right and who was actually right here. So uh, what did not sit well with me was that I thought it should have been more of a science rather than it was being perceived as an art. And that's why I decided to start a company uh, using AI and uh, technology to help improve the quality of diagnosis that, is, that was being provided. But what we realized was there was a, even a much bigger problem that we were trying to solve. And that bigger problem was uh, the fact that uh, dental data, such as radiographs and notes, cannot be analyzed by computers right now and because they're in unstructured format and you need to convert them into structured format using computer vision and natural language processing such that you can computers can analyze it, process it, route it in the right way possible. So that was the underlying uh, basis of what we started uh, Overjet on and right now we're serving many organizations using the technology. So I think uh, the biggest advice I'll have is while they're in school they should be trying different things out because that's a safe environment where you can actually see what you actually like or what you don't like. You know, entrepreneurship might be for you or it might not be for you and, and both are actually good uh, career paths. You might want to join a, a larger company or you might want to do your own thing but the only way you know is by doing internship, trying different business, uh, bus businesses out. So I think my uh, first uh, uh, advice would be Try different things while in school and after if you realize that entrepreneurship is something that you really want to do then just go for it and you know I think the biggest thing I hear is uh, sometimes people don't know what is the idea that I should work on or I don't think the idea is important enough for me to work on but I think the you know going and pursuing something that you're passionate about and trying to delve deeper into it you know the first time you start thinking about something it might not you might not have the best idea to start off with but as you go, go deeper into the, the problem, you start realizing uh, whether it is niche solutions or, or other solutions that will help solve that problem. So trying to find problems rather than trying to find solutions is something that I think would be another th uh, thing to emphasize is, you know, there are a lot of problems around us, whether you've faced it or you've uh, experienced other people face it or whether it is uh, in organizations, but seeing problems and starting to scope problems is very, very important. So this was my first Open Silicon Valley event. I've attended other open events. I w I'm coming from Boston, so I've attended Open Boston events. But this is my first Open Silicon Valley uh, event and I was very, very impressed by uh, the amount of people that showed up to the event, uh, especially du during this time. Uh, and also the uh, how professional everything was, whether it was the panels, whether like things uh, happened on time, etc., or the, the whole ecosystem around it. So. Uh, I, I think I enjoyed it so much that I'm like actually thinking of moving here. So I think you know that that, uh, that might tell you how successful this event really was. Uh, but I would encourage other entrepreneurs as well to get uh, associated with this organization, uh, especially uh, the Silicon Valley chapter, uh, because there's there's a lot to learn from others who have been in different stages uh, in their careers.